Chris, I'll see. Amen. Daughters of Glorious Jesus, let's have the birthday song.
As you have heard on numerous occasions and, and in presentations, the foundation is the bedrock of our King's vision. And the foundation is also 25 years old, but 25 years old this year. And we hear more from us as we plan our big gap also to showcase our activities, achievements, all under the auspices of His Majesty, the two of the same community. We can only wish him more long life healthy one and God bless us. And as the foundation, I must stand in here to wish you a happy birthday on behalf of all the thousands and hundreds of beneficiaries, the school children, the English kids, the people who are benefited greatly from this.
Say no more than
Mine. At a point, it seemed like Asante was uh, more or less disintegrating. 
under him is coming back in full force and even beyond. I believe he is the first traditional ruler to have been recognized by the United Nations organization itself. When I assumed office, uh, the World Bank, before I assumed office, the World Bank had agreed to support Otumfo with some funds. When I got in, because I happened to be an Asante man, people thought it was my government that had organized to get the fund for, no, it was far from it. I discovered, to my happiness though, that Otumfo was already the bosom friend of the president of the World Bank then, Wolfensen. And through their relationship and Wolfensen's appreciation uh, of what Nana was trying to do with his position as, as Antehini, you, uh, the World Bank had agreed to fund Nana's efforts. There are so many things it's done. And as I say, it's happened, all happened within 25 days. Today we are celebrating his 74th birthday. At the same time, the, the silver jubilee of his ascension to the great gold institute. But you look at him, he's a very young 74. Very, I would describe him as athletic. Every morning he's on the golf course. And uh, I'm happy seeing all of us here share, sharing the celebrations with him. So permit me to wish him a very happy birthday and with a prayer that incidentally his mother lived uh, the one and seven years 111 Nana. yes yes and uh, it seems longevity is uh, on his side of the royal family so uh, the way he looks and the way he performs and the way the mind is so clear, and the way he is a global person, we pray that perhaps uh, the good Lord would grant him many, many, many more resourceful and productive years. Uh, the people around here have taken to describing him Solomon, King Solomon, but I always at the rider. King Solomon was really favored by God. He had everything. Uh, he achieved so much. There was peace in his time. Even foreign monarchs contributed to his wealth happily. And obviously, Nana is getting that. But King Solomon in due course nearly forgot himself. So, but for the fact that God loved him, Perhaps he would have chastised him quite a bit. So we pray that Nana is truly a Solomon, but up to that point where Solomon forgot himself, Nana must not forget himself. <laughs> so, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be here today and to have this opportunity to pay tribute to our great king. May God continue to bless you. Happy birthday, Nana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency John Ajekunku, for former President of the Republic of Ghana. I believe most of us in this room may say you know His Majesty very well. And I believe we'll have a session who would say they know him better. But there is one person in this room who knows his majesty best.
because that person has been with him through the highs, the lows, the dark, the bright, the sad and happiest time. And she has walked by his side, not just being gracious, but also contributing to a sentiment and humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly, let's welcome Her Royal Highness, Lady Julia Osei Tutu, to give us her goodwill message. Excellencies of the High Table, Nananum, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to this most special occasion, the 74th birthday of my dear husband, Utum Fuase to do the second, which also coincides with the very auspicious occasion of the 25th anniversary of his ascension to the throne of our beloved Asante Kingdom. Otumfo's reign has been characterized by his remarkable achievements in peacemaking, nation building, development, education, health, and building bridges between the international community, Asantiman, and Ghana as a whole. My dearest, I congratulate you on all your exemplary achievements. To say I'm proud of you would be an understatement. Otumfo and I first met when I came to Kumase as the legal and corporate affairs officer of Ecobank Ghana. I was tasked with giving the vote of thanks for the first, for the inauguration of the first branch of Ecobank in Kumasi. He tells me that he was mesmerized. <laughs> that at the end of the ceremony, even though it had started to rain, he refused to leave, <laughs> despite the prompting of his courtiers. He made sure he found out who I was and how to get in touch with me before leaving the event grounds. <laughs> that evening, I was summoned by my managing director, the late Jonaka, to dinner at Otumfo's residence. <laughs> Little did I know that I was, I was auditioning for the role of a lifetime. And here we are, 22 years, 22 wonderful years later, and many beautiful children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and an amazing extended family, including Nananum and Nanahimanum. <laughs> Special mention must be made of my late mother-in-law, 
Nane Fiakubi, Sewam Pim, Asante Hima, who blessed me with this wonderful husband and many, many conversations filled with advice and love. A tradition that has been continued by the current Asante Hima, my sister in law, Nana Maknodu Yadom Zed. Sweets. These years together have been truly exceptional. And I continue to pinch myself daily to remind myself that this is not a dream, but indeed the wonderful life you promised me when we first met. You have exceeded my expectations. And I pray that the good Lord blesses you with many more years to continue your reign and to be the amazing father, husband, grandfather, and patriarch that you are to us all. Distinguished guests, I cannot thank you enough for... Then Tim, check on the top tier. If I told me I'd be in him of an chimney. Yes, sing a moment to it now. The second tier, or Hene, Eniwa, or Hene, means king and Eniwa means eyes. This symbol implies that the eyes of the king see many things. They are vigilant, overseeing all the affairs of the nation, such that nothing slips by him. The third tier is Aya which means endurance, resilience, and the ability to overcome. The fourth and final tier is the golden stool. According to oral history, Okonfuanoche, a high priest and one of the Asante Confederacy founders, summoned the golden stool from the sky in the late 1600s. It landed in front of Osetutu I, who became the first Asante Hene, king of Asante. The golden stool has since been a symbol of strength in the Asante people. Hence its position as the foundation tier. The stool is honored and kept sacred in many ways. It was never allowed to touch the ground, hence the cake is designed to look like the tears are floating. The porcupine is another sacred totem that represents the strength of the Asante people. Wukuma Pema. It's also incorporated into the porcupine quills on each tier. The cake table is also inspired by Kotokodia. Ladies and gentlemen, my sister put this together. A round of applause for Jifa and Sweet Intense. And so now, if it pleases you, there is a sword that the king, together with the princess consort, will lay hands on. The first party will be with our king and the princess consort, and the second party will consist of Nananom and the team members of the high table. In prayer, after which we cut. Sir. Our grief in heart and mind, let us all say, Amen. Sir. Amen. Sir. Your Majesty, Sir. together with Sir. Royal Consort, we are communicating here. So. And although he's a warrior king, today he wants a lover's knife. A sizable knife will do the trick today. Nana Pashoni in Ayek. Now so you're born a glass in Kwa.
And so shortly we will receive the knife that will be used to cut the cake. Okay, improvisation at its best. And so we cut in the name of God, who is Father, who is Son, and who is Holy Spirit. And all of God's children shall say, Amen. Daughters of Glorious Jesus, let's have the birthday song. Celebrate 25, another 25 years again here in this hall. 
And um, I'm happy to see my brothers here. He's, uh, look at him there. He's, uh, he's, and then Niga. Niga, that's it. Before they all decided to come. Niga has been here for the past three, four days to stay with me here, to be with me. And then Osaji also came today, yesterday, to be with me tonight. And uh, he said to me that he would come back next week also to be with us. But I thank you, Nanami, and everybody who was invited here. I can't mention everybody. I can't. But I know I insisted that I wanted a list of Ashtown people to come. I told my office I want Ashtown people to come. And the people that I've not met for years, I said they should come. And that today amongst you, I feel that I've not been able to go around. Protocol has not allowed me, but I would have wished to do that so that I could see everybody who is here. That's the position you put me. Ask down people, that's where you put me. So I can't come closer to you now. But I wish I, I can do that. But I thank you all in a deep sense of gratitude for being here tonight. I, I assure you and I promise you that the confidence that you've had in me, I still will continue with that promise. And I, I, I will do my best and I will, I promise you, I'll leave you with truth, honesty and integrity. And anything, anything that comes out of me will be with integrity, will be with uh, yeah. uh, 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 truth. So with that, I assure you, on my 74th birthday, that I don't count. But people feel I'm not right. People said I'm not. Someone said, you are saying this skin is 20, 74, he's not. Because I think they've, they've increased his age for them to feel that he's a king, that's why they are saying that. Yeah. So I accept that, but I'm 74. Yeah. My mother gave birth to me on the 6th of May, 1950. Ah. So people who doubt it, I'm so mine. But anyway, I look after myself. And therefore, I'm not going to go now. Yeah. Yeah. God will. The only, the only, the only, the only person who knows I'm leaving now is God. He can decide. And if he decides tomorrow, I will go. But I would have left my mind. But before that, don't wish that I'm going to be with you all too. Good evening and thank you very much. All those that I didn't have mentioned your name, I thank you very much for being here. And I, I, I wish for your prayers. I can survive in this position with your prayers and support. My dear wife, I've always said I've been very supportive. Please pray for her and let her also get the strength to support me. I thank you very much. Thank you. And so to 99, we shall all rise and give to him the gifts that he deserves. May God bless you now. 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 We pray happy tears. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. hip. Ladies and gentlemen, the king. Is that His Royal Majesty, Otunfo Osei II, the second, a resounding round of applause. Please be seated. Your Royal Majesty, we thank you for those very gracious and warm words. You have certainly been a delightful host to us, and your hospitality right here in this state-of-the-art edifice has been nothing short of spectacular. We thank you ever so much. <laughs>
Oh, 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 o